and welcome to Red Cat Racing's video guide to nitro engine tuning. This is Ali Sharma. In this video guide, I will take you step by step and show you how to properly tune the nitro engine of your RC car and have total fun out of your Red Cat. In fact, Red Cat Racing cars come with different size of engines. Uh, for example, SH18, SH21 and SH28, etc, etc. I will show you two different engines which are really really very popular and we will take them as an example and uh, go through with the engine tuning. Basically all these principles, all these uh, rules or the steps that I'm going to describe in this video for tuning the engine, they can apply on all kind of nitro engines when it comes to So we will start here by looking at the engine and two different types of carburetors. Uh, two different types of carbs that is uh, rotary carb and slide carb and then I will take you step by step from there. So let us look at the engine and two different types of carbs. Now that you have seen two different types of carbs, let us take uh, one type of carb and get a closer look at different valves that carb has. Basically it has three different valves, that is needles we also call them, high speed needle, HSN, low speed needle, LSN and idle speed needle or idle speed screw. Let us look at the carb closely. This is a rotary carb, okay, so it's called rotary because you can see it rotates okay slide carbs will slide open okay let us take this rotary carb and let me show you what are the basic needles this is your HSN or high speed needle okay all right it's a bronze tubing this one controls your air and fuel mixture from partial to full throttles okay then we come here on the throttle lever you can see in the center this is your LSN or low speed needle. This will control the air and fuel mixture on idle levels when engine is running on idle or from zero to partial throttles. Okay? This one is your idle speed screw right here. Okay. Idle speed screw will control your idle speed by opening and closing the carb gap. Now idle speed screw will actually open or close this gap. I would highly recommend that you actually set your idle speed screw, this one, okay, and make sure your carb opening gap is one millimeter. Okay, now the thing is when people say right after starting the engine goes full throttle and car runs away, it's because your throttle is actually open maybe like this. That is why, right after starting, your car simply takes off. So make sure, make sure that you set your idle speed screw and keep the carb level opening to one millimeter only so that your car can start on idle speeds. Making changes. Two concepts, lean and rich. Rich means more fuel, less air. Lean means more air, less fuel. Running an engine lean is very dangerous. It can actually damage your engine. Running your engine rich does not do much actually. It keeps your engine cool and that you would not get higher performance from your engine. So make sure you find a balance. So make sure you find a balance when you tune your high speed and low speed needles. You find a good balance between lean and rich and get the full performance out of your engine. 
Now here it is. If you want to lean out your HSN or high speed needle, you need to close it clockwise. If you want to reach out your high speed needle, you need to counterclockwise open it. Now remember, when you're tuning the engine, sometimes only this change will actually affect the engine performance. Do not make big changes when you are actually tuning the engine. Always go for a little change, check, little change, check, little change, check, and when you find the optimal performance, stop there. Similarly, when coming to low speed needle or LSM, do not mess with this one, otherwise it will be a headache. Coming to LSM, when making changes to LSM, if you do like this, means you are just calling for some headaches, okay? So never make big changes on your LSM. Always make like tiny changes. Sometimes on LSM, even this tiny change will work. I don't know if you have noticed it or not, but this can affect your engine performance. So always make real tiny changes on LSN after you have found your optimal settings. Once again, close is lean out, that is clockwise, and anti-clockwise open is rich and out. Okay, this is it. Now let me show you what is the effect of high speed and low speed needle changes on your engine. All right, now that you have understood some very basic uh, concepts on the carbs and uh, very basic concepts on the valves or needles that is LSN and HSN, let us go out in the field and let us look at how these settings on the carb needles will actually affect your engine. So let us go to the field. Uh -huh.